This is CJ Kinney for Esoterica, a short feature which delves into the realms of the extraordinary. And today I'd like to talk with you about illusion, because it just might be that your world is one. That is, that you literally create what you see and experience as an assembled decoupage of your beliefs and perspectives, mixed in with your imagination and your expectations, with just a dab of input from what is actually happening externally in your environment. Check this out. You're walking down the street when someone asks for directions. While you're talking, two other guys carrying a large door pass between you and the guy to whom you're giving directions. After they've passed with the door, you finish your spiel, and instead of moving on, the guy you've been giving directions to informs you that you've just unwittingly taken part in an experiment. He asks you if you noticed anything different after the guys with the door passed. You didn't. So he explains that the man who initially asked you for directions walked off behind the door, switching with the guy to whom you're now talking. The original guy then comes over and you can clearly see that the two men are very different. Different heights, different dress, different haircuts, different voices. You realize that you were indeed giving directions to two completely different people. And you didn't even notice. Think this could happen? How about this? You're asked to watch some kids play basketball and count how many times they pass the ball back and forth. Afterward, you're asked how many times they passed the ball. You answer confidently, 37. After all, you watched carefully the number of passes. But then you're asked if you saw the gorilla. What the what now? As it turns out, while the kids were passing the ball, a guy in a big gorilla suit walked into the scene, stopped, waved, and walked on. And guess what? You never saw him. How could this be? Well, you have succumbed to what is called inattentional blindness, which shows that we consciously see quite a bit less than we think we do, unconsciously dismissing most of the environmental information we encounter in favor of the info we decide on some level is pertinent. The result is that we consciously see very little, and any ideas we have about seeing everything, or at least most of it, is just wrong. In fact, we extract and use relatively few external details and rely on ourselves, that is, our impressions, our imaginations, our expectations, our beliefs, and even our fears for the rest. And because of this, some researchers assert that we in fact see nothing at all, only illusion. The Innocence Project, an organization that uses DNA testing to exonerate those wrongly convicted of crimes, reports that 73% of the cases they've overturned relied on eyewitness testimony to convict innocent people and send them to prison. This disconcerting statistic alone shows that not only is seeing not believing, but it dramatically demonstrates how devastating real-world consequences can occur when we believe what we think we've experienced. And our memories? Since memory is based on our experience, which is cobbled together from our beliefs, expectations, and so forth, it's as flawed as our perceptions. And that's the crux. You literally perceive what you believe to be important, and not much else, in your external environment. You literally see what you expect to see in your world. And this means that we miss a lot more than guys in gorilla suits. It means that we don't perceive reality at all. But there's good news here, because our brains filter out much of what eventually reaches our awareness and does so based in large part on what we believe and expect. We can change what we see and perceive quite literally by opening our minds, by exploring our beliefs, and by expanding our expectations. And that gives a whole new meaning to Gandhi's advice to be the change we want to see in the world. Because when we do, all that reality our brains pick up will be processed through a different and more expanded filter, which will bring a whole new world into our awareness. This is CJ Kinney for Esoterica. Thanks for listening.